in 1970 and 1972, two total solar eclipses crossed over Nova Scotia. And later in 1972, Carly Simon wrote the song, You're So Vain. How many of you have heard that song? There is a line in that song that was to inspire me for the rest of my life. Then you flew your Learjet to Nova Scotia to see a total eclipse of the sun. To a 12-year-old girl stuck in Central Texas. <laughs> that was the epitome of freedom to explore the wonders of the universe. I sang that song over and over again, along with that line, flew your Learjet to Nova Scotia to see a total eclipse of the sun. I wanted to be that person, to see that total eclipse of the sun. In 1991, found me on a beach, 40 miles north of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, waiting for a total eclipse of the sun. I was with many other people on that beach, as we waited and we watched as the moon take its first little bite. First contact, somebody yelled. And we watched and we watched with our very fashionable solar eclipse glasses <laughs> as the moon became, kept taking larger and larger bites. At about 80%, the light had significantly dimmed the temperature had dropped. It had been a 90 degree day on a beach in Mexico in July and it had dropped 20 degrees. It's starting to get a little chilly. When you stood under the tree, the shadows coming, the light coming through the leaves and the shadows were all in the little shape of half moons. The light on the beach was actually sparklier because of the different light diffraction. And we stood there watching and waiting Suddenly someone yelled, diamond ring! And the last rays of the sun started coming through the mountains of the moon. We took off our eclipse glasses and there before us, the moon completely covering the sun was this beautiful solar corona, flying out, shimmering out from behind the moon, reaching out into space. I stood there in wonder and awe, and I actually felt the immensity, beauty, and gift of the universe in my soul in that moment. Because for this particular moment to happen, the sun, the moon, the earth, and I had to exist at that point in space and time. I was so touched and so inspired by this moment to see the beauty of the universe. And all too briefly, it was over. Everybody was yelling and screaming and happy. And I asked the one question that has inspired the rest of my life, when and where's the next one? <laughs> but it hasn't always been this way. In the past, total solar eclipses have often led to animal sacrifice, human sacrifice, lots of fear and trepidation, and lots of praying to gods. But not these days because of science. The beauty and wonder of science is even though we know how, when, where, and why an eclipse happens, it doesn't take away the wonder and beauty and majesty of it. So let's start with some basics. The, everyone here, solar system, sun is the center of the solar system. Earth revolves around the sun, moon revolves around the earth. No flat earthers, we're okay. So orbital dynamics and both the sun and the moon appear to be the same size from the earth. And this is because the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon and the moon is 400 times away from the, uh, closer to the earth. And thus they both appear to be the same size in the sky. Now, as the moon orbits the earth, it becomes a new moon. 
but because of its orbit, sometimes it's above what is called the sun-earth plane of the ecliptic or below. In those times, we don't get an eclipse because the moon's shadow is going off into space. Only when it crosses that sun-earth eclipse, uh, ecliptic does the shadow fall on the earth. In addition, the moon's orbit takes it a closer, closer to us and farther away to, from us. Perigee is when the moon is closer to us, so it appears bigger in the sky. Apogee is when it's farther from us, which appears smaller. When it's at perigee, it creates a total solar eclipse. When it's at apogee, it's an annular eclipse. So let's review. New moon, earth plane eclipt ecliptic, at perigee, closer to the earth, and you in the path. To see a total eclipse, you have to get in the path. In March of this year, I saw my 15th total solar eclipse. I travel all over the world to see them. I have been to Europe, to Africa, to South America, to China, <coughs> to Australia, to the Caribbean, to Indonesian islands where I saw the one in March. And I've even gone to Antarctica. Now this one was the one that really, really challenged me. And lucky for me, there are other crazy people like me, umbrophiles, that want to see eclipses. And we did see it. We flew a plane over Antarctica to see that total eclipse of the sun. This picture is from 30,000 feet from that plane. You see the total solar eclipse in the sky, the moon's shadow on the ice, and then the rays of the sun from behind the shadow reflecting off the ice. Sometimes a 12-year-old girl's dreams can come true, especially when you have the perseverance to really chase them but you don't have to travel across the world. You don't have to fly a Learjet. Any reliable car can get you to the next total solar eclipse because it's coming to the United States. August 21st, 2017, it is going from sea to shining sea. It starts in Lincoln City, Oregon. It cuts a 70 mile wide path through the United States and ends in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, you have to get in the path to see the total solar eclipse. Here in Texas, we're only gonna get about 80%. You'll get the light looking kind of funny, sand, if you have any sand, or windows will look kind of different, sparkly, and you'll see the little half moons under the trees, but you will not see that total experience unless you get in the path. Okay, I may consider this. How do I find out where to go? Google and NASA are your friends. <laughs> Google, solar eclipse 2017, NASA, map, you'll get this map. And this map is just like your regular Google map where you can drill down into it to see where you wanna go. Between the two blue lines and along the red line is the maximum eclipse. But if you click there, you'll actually get this little pop-up that tells you when the partial starts, when the total starts, maximum eclipse, when the total ends, and when the partial ends. So all the information is right there. Thank you, Google and NASA. But wait, I, you can't see an old solar eclipse. It'll burn out your eyes. Partial eclipses are dangerous to look at, and I do emphasize that. These little solar glasses will protect your eyes and you can get them for $2 on Amazon today. A week before the eclipse, they'll be 10 bucks. <laughs> Plus FedEx shipping. But they're very, very easy to wear and share with people. I highly recommend if you have friends and family and you want to see even the partial eclipse, buy some now. Or if you forget about it, you can actually do the same method that I used when I saw my first eclipse, and that's where you take a piece of cardboard, punch a hole in it, get a plain piece of white paper, and you can look away from the sun safely 
and see the partial eclipse. Another way to do it is with welder's glass, 14 or better, which is easily obtainable today at Home Depot. A week from the eclipse, probably not gonna find a lot. But do protect your eyes during the partial eclipse. The actual total eclipse is safe to look at. It's the same lumens as about a full moon. But the safe rule is, if you look at it and you wanna blink, wear the glasses. This is what we're gonna get here in Dallas, 80%. And August 21st, 2017 is a Monday, and it is also the first day of school. <laughs> now, for those of you with children, I highly recommend playing hooky <laughs> from school and work and go see the eclipse. This is one of the best scientific STEM shows you will see on the planet this next year. Take the day off and go see them. But, and I understand life intrudes, if you can't go, please, if you're planning on staying here in Dallas, please buy yourself some glasses and see the partial. <laughs> Sorry. And this is my taste of a solar eclipse. <laughs> for that. <laughs> this video, my narrative here, the videos you see on the internet, the pictures that you'll see, do not do the experience justice. Sometime next year, please make plans to see the August 21st total solar eclipse. And if not, at least make plans sometime in your lifetime. Thank you.